Um, I play guitar. Um, mm. I can play a little bit of bass. Yeah. Um, a tiny bit of mandolin. Yeah. Um, a tiny bit of piano. So sort of yeah. I've like I said, I try and like spread myself around all instruments because you never know. Sometimes you might pick one up and go, oh, I've got it like yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah. Kind of, and you know what it is sort of thing. I think playing guitar, you kind of know your root notes on the bass anyway, yeah. sort of thing. So it's sort of like, you know, I love playing quite a lot of influence, uh, influence yeah. instruments. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Yeah. I think bass would probably be like a second instrument that I'd love yeah. to take up sort of thing. Yeah, that would be your next one, would it? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I do play it quite a bit, but you know, to get properly into it sort of thing. But. Yeah. What about advice for people who are thinking of starting out a music career, maybe at the moment? Um, Any advice you could give them? Definitely go ahead and do it. So yeah. I mean, you know, if it makes you happy at the end of the day, you know, playing. If, if you enjoy sitting down and playing your guitar and singing a song, yeah. sort of thing, you know, yeah. and you want to get out there and you know you're writing your own song, sort of yeah. thing. You know, yeah, there's there's nothing stopping you at the end of the day. You no. know, if anything, it's yourself stopping yourself going out there and doing yeah. it because you know. You know, a lot of people say, oh, I'm quite nervous sort of thing, but like I said, at my first gig, as soon as I broke the ice, that's it, you know, you're on your way, like, yeah. you've hit the ground running then sort of thing, exactly. you know, and the good thing about playing one gig, you can get another gig, mm -hmm. and the thing is, a lot of people think, well, I'm not that experienced yet, mm -hmm. sort of thing, but you can only get experience from playing, mm -hmm. uh, and like experience from playing gigs, you know, and doing that sort of thing, I think it all comes in time, so I think, mm -hmm. you know, just be patient with it, and just... You know, do what you enjoy and what you love, and that's playing music. So as long as you, do, you know, keep doing it, exactly. so I think that's what I think anyway. Yeah. Solo or band, which do you prefer? I think solo because it's me, then, isn't it? I, you know, I haven't got a you know, all the boys behind me. If I sort of thing, you know, we haven't got a set of kit up in here or anything. Never been like that. But um, obviously, because I sit at home solo, you know, I sit in my room mm. and I, I write a song, mm. and that's kind of like. You know, me and the guitar, you know, this guitar's a part of me then, isn't it? And I've got writing my songs and that, so it's more me, but then, in a sense of playing acoustic, sometimes there is a little bit missing. Yeah. You, I can tell myself, oh, well, you know, it's sounds nice to play a bit, a bit of the lead there, sort yeah. of thing. So, having the band behind me now recently, it's kind of filled those gaps, yeah. sort of thing. It's, it's kind of a bit more like a, no, it's not quite bad to say, but more like a little bit of a backing band, sort of thing, just to back yeah. everything up. Yeah. But, you know, they're all my good mates and that, and I'll let them do what they want to do on the tracks and that. And it, yeah. Sounding quite good, Brilliant. so uh, I can't wait to start playing with those. Yeah. Well. Should be quite recent. So the next couple of gigs. Um, yeah, I think I think we started playing. Uh, I think the first gig that I'm going to be with the band is actually in the Water Music Festival. Right. Uh, the first, uh, the song. Yeah. Yeah. So that'll be the first time I have the band with me. So yeah. that should be quite good. So it should be a one to watch. Yeah. If it goes pear shaped or not, but I can do it. Hopefully. What about solo well. gigs in between? Have you got your solo gigs coming up? Um, Oh, I'm playing at the the cellar bar again. Uh, yeah. The open mic down there again. Um, obviously, I, I really enjoyed it the first time. This is the Ross Underwood thing going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. And then I asked if I'd go back, and he's like, "Yeah, yeah come back." And so, so when's that? That's uh, June. I think it's the yeah. sixth of June or fifth of June, something okay. like that. But uh, now that's uh, the recent one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right, it's time for three, two, one. Now it's okay. on tough questions. We've saved them to last for. Okay. Right. Okay. Three reasons why I should come and listen to you, Charlie Boswell. Um. Uh, <laughs> this is the one they usually struggle on. Probably, if, maybe um, you know, obviously come and listen to my songs, sort of thing, because yeah. I do think that I write from a very uh, personal perspective, sort of thing. So yeah. I think it's a, uh, well, I think I write from a, a perspective that everyone can kind of think, oh, I've been there, yeah. or oh, I've felt that, sort of yeah. thing. And I've noticed that playing quite a lot. That people said to me, oh, I felt that. Yeah. Sort of thing, and I think that's one reason. I think that I've been, it's been said quite a lot that I show my emotion when I play, and it really does yeah. affect people, sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, obviously, one for doing that, obviously, two to come and just watch me play, obviously. <laughs> but um, three, um, I don't know. I think I'm not trying to be anybody. I'm not either, sort yeah. of thing. And, and I'm, I'm not one of these people that's you know got a, a, a big attitude or something like that. You, yeah. you know, I'd rather just let my music do the talking. Yeah. You know, I'm, you know, I like to think of myself as a nice person, but I just like yeah. to you know let you get to know me through my music sort yeah. of thing. When I'm up there, you know, that's it. You know, just to come and look at me on stage, and then obviously you know when I go off stage, that's also me, isn't it? Yeah. But I'd rather it come through my music sort of thing. Yeah. So that's the three reasons. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Two two people dead or alive you'd like in your band. Ooh. Ooh, that's quite hard. Mm. Definitely on drums, like, uh, Keith Moon. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, you can't be Keith Moon, can you? A bit of Mooney on the drums. Yeah. Um, ooh, I don't know. Probably, obviously, 
he's still alive, but uh, Roger Daltrey on the uh, yeah. vocals as well. Definitely. What's about him then? I don't know, he's just got such a good presence about him as well. I, don't know, I just think his, his voice as well, like when the timing as well, sort of thing, that was just so unreal. And obviously, being a massive, like, you know, I mean, all my mods and all that sort of stuff yeah. and all that, and just, you know, watching Crunchy Fino and, you know, watching Tom and stuff like yeah. that, it's just unreal. Yeah. You know, it's my sort of thing, I'm really into it sort of thing, yeah. but yeah. definitely, yeah. Cool. And final question for tonight, yeah. one artist you could recommend to come up here to do a live acoustic set? Oof. What if they've already done one before, but they can do another one? Or? No, we try and keep to the like oh. one, they're going to make it tough for you. Yeah. Because you're number 80 tonight, so yes. Ooh. People are going to struggle so much now. Oh, I don't know. Mm. Who have I seen lately that's been really good? Um, have, have you had Done by Sunrise on it? No, so actually much. they've been up on the Sunday show, they've but up, they've not they've kind of yeah, been on the Yeah, I'd definitely recommend uh, Done yeah. by Sunrise, uh, the, three, the, the two sisters and Scott. Scott, yeah. Yeah, they, they've got a really good uh, okay. uh, vibe about them. That's really nice. nice. I always look going to watch them play. Because they've been doing yeah. pretty good, haven't they? Yeah, yeah they've been playing quite a lot, yeah. I, I supported them actually at uh, the Talbot, yeah. uh, I think it was one Saturday back in March, yeah. and it was a really good gig there, actually, yeah. as well, yeah. they got uh, quite a good following as well, so yeah. I'd so, yeah. definitely recommend them. Right, okay. Out. Right then. Well, thanks for going up tonight, mate. Right, it's gone real quick no as worries, usual. Yeah. Really enjoyed it tonight. Yeah. And, uh, Gonna leave us with a song? Yeah, uh, it's been probably going to be one of my, uh, my favourite tracks, which would be an Oasis band. Yeah. This is a uh, one that you probably all know, this is uh, She's Electric. <laughs>